Hello all and welcome to another episode of Charity Shop Tat Gold. Well, the word gold may well be laden with sarcasm, but the word tat may very well apply to what's being shown in this video. So what I do in Charity Shop Tat Gold is whilst out hunting in Charity Shop for stuff that I actually want, I'm also looking for some random items, some interesting items, and perhaps the odd nice item that I wouldn't normally buy. And this is all to parade in front of the camera, all in the aid of just having a little bit of fun. So what I do is I start off with some individual items and then I end the video on what I call a bag of crap but the bag of crap name is a term of endearment however there still might be some crap in there but there might be a little bit of gold in there as well who knows we'll see when we get to the bag of crap but before we get to the bag of crap before we start with the individual items I'm actually going to start with another bag and I'm going to call this a bag of bears because as you'll see it is just full of bears and you probably recognize by the gray fur that these are all what they call meet you bears normally the things that you go in clinton cars and you can't get away from seeing anywhere and you can't really get away from seeing these in charity shops to be honest with you they're kind of a little bit of a staple find in charity shops they're absolutely everywhere and i saw this bag full of them and i thought you know what let's actually get some of these out of a charity shop myself and see what we're going to get in this bag of bears and i say see what we're going to get because they're normally all holding something perhaps a key with some numbers on it generally they're all holding ages the ages are generally a significant age something like 18 and 21 i'm expecting at least one of those in there or something divisible by 10 from like 20 onwards 20 30 40 50 60 even as high as 70 and perhaps 80 as well so god knows what they're holding there in fact we can see one here peering out of the front of us and he's holding the number 18 so we're already right so let's get these bears out and just see what we're going to get from these bears, I say they, they, they are always nice looking things to be honest with you, they're always well made and they are a bit of a nice novelty gift for those significant ages and here we are, we've got number 18 haven't we, or well, we haven't got number 18, we've got a bear holding the number 18, it's not the 18th bear they ever made or whatever, so yeah genuine me to you bear holding the 18, now what other number we've got, we've got the 18, have we got the 21, we've got the 21, what's this one holding, this one's holding a plastic item, and here we go, we've got him holding a 21, it's not a key though, I was kind of expecting a key, you know, key to the door and all that rubbish, so he's holding a sparkly, twinkly, glittery number 21, so he can go over here, we're going to have a row of bears at the back for a little while, but they might get emailed out of the way. To, to make room for other stuff so uh, this one's a little bit smaller he's not holding anything but he's got a sweater with something on it i mean oh look there we go friends always well did the friendship break up because this bear ended up in a charity shop oh dear oh dear oh dear r.i.p to that friendship so you can go at the back wall for now as i say we're probably going to lose this one by one we need this room and here we go we've got 13 well isn't that a bit of a random number it's not hardly a a significant age is it 13 it's unlucky for some congratulations you're 13 what why 13 i don't get that and you got yeah okay 13 apparently it's a, it's a big number oh i get it it's the first of the teens of course it is 11 12 13 okay so yep well that, that caught me off guard a little bit I was, I was expecting a number like 30 or 40 or 50 or do you know what a valentine's day bear they like doing those as well so there we go we've got a row of bears at the back there to to decorate the background i hate having a black background in in videos but there we go we've got four me to you bears i nearly said forever friends there but uh friend friends are sort of the beigey looking ones as well i think they were probably found in clinton cards as well but we're going to stick with plush items i have to share this this isn't tat for me this is gold this is pure gold and when i saw it i couldn't believe that i saw it for me, I grew up when this TV program's plush was at its peak, shall we say. The TV program was at its peak. You know, I was of that age to be entertained by it. And here we go. We have, and this character here, oh, the, oh, the, the trouble I went to, to finding out what this character was called. Basically, this is from a TV series that started in 85 and continued on to 1992. I would like to say I knew that information all myself, but you know, hello Wikipedia, thank you for that. But anyway, it's from Wackaday, which was hosted by Timmy Mallet. And he had a great big foam mallet, which didn't have a face on it, which was Mallet's Mallet. And he used to play a game with the contestants. And the contestants were, so, it was a word association game. And if they got it wrong, they'd get a bash on the head with this mallet. And this mallet didn't have a foam. We'd bash these on there, couldn't we? Look, did it dong, ding. That was the noise it made. So yeah, he, he had this mallet. And if they got it wrong, they would get 
bopped on the head by this big foam mallet. Anyway, he introduced a couple of characters. There was a male one and a female one, this being the female one. The male one was called Pinky Punky, and then along came this female one. Now, when I found this, I found this, I could not for the life of me remember what the name was. Couldn't for remember, you know, I, I searched all sorts of things on the end. I Basically, I put Ms, Ms and Mrs in front of Pinky Punky, which was the male, male one's name, and hoped that I could find something. I could find anything on the internet about this. Anyway, I actually got a good... Uh, a good suggestion from my good friend, Ross of Bohor Hor, who said, well, why don't you try tweeting Timmy Mallet? So I did with a picture of this saying, can you remember the name of the female? Oh, of course he could. What is the name of the female character? Of course he's going to remember the name. And he, yeah, do you know what? He got back to me instantly and said, hanky panky. So there we go. This is the this is the hanky panky character from Wackaday. Oh, you know, we on Timmy Mallets, 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 whatever you want want to whatever you want to call it. I used to call it Mallets Mallet as, as a kid, I think, but the program was actually called Wackaday. But anyway, yes, yeah, so getting information on this and searching hanky panky on the internet. Yeah, that, that throws up some results, doesn't it? It's not the sort of thing you want to be searching for. But honestly, so pleased to find this a charity shop, and it only cost me 50p. I had three games in my hand, and they were priced up at 50p each. This I found this with no price on it. Took his account. I said, this has got no price on it. He went, oh, just give us 50p for it. And you know what? I'm so pleased to find that, actually. So it's a little bit of my childhood. And the first of the Me To You Bears is going to get air out of the way. So we can sort of have Hanky Panky on the side there, sort of, uh, yeah nearly hiding the number 13 bear there anyway so yeah really pleased with that find actually have i mentioned that i'm really pleased with that find well i uh, well i am but anyway let's get on to some uh some uh more regular items and we'll start off with after talking about hanky panky the word ho yes now this turned up in a cherry shop actually right at the beginning of august before any sort of Christmas stuff started showing up in cherry shops and well I thought what is this doing turning up at the beginning of August and now cherry shops are actually actually full of Christmas stuff and I didn't expect that so uh yeah oh, oh I could do a Christmas special I could do a Christmas special cherry shop go Christmas special is that something you want let me know in the comment section below that could happen actually the stuff is around however I'm showing this now it just made me laugh because obviously they're going with the fact that ho 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 cookie cutters there are well yeah the two of them the h and the o but they're obviously going with the fact that you do it three times and go with the with the phrase that Santa Claus uses in ho 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 but I just thought you know what this could be quite funny in a way because you could also use this to present some biscuits to a friend that doesn't know they're slutty and you could try to tell them that you know in a subliminal way you know just feed them biscuits here you go these biscuits say ho do you get the drift but do you know what the other thing i thought was is look you could flip it around and you could also present some news to people that they may not uh may not want to hear and uh present them some biscuits saying oh you know i don't know an accident or pregnancy or something not quite sure what you could use it for. But yeah, present bad news with it as well. And I just thought beginning of August, what are, we're finding Christmas stuff already. Only 99p to make some hoe biscuits. So that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? So there we go. We've got some hoe biscuits. But anyway, let's go back to childhood stuff. Well, well, this reminds me of my childhood, but maybe not a pink one. But these pencil cases, every kid wanted one. Um, and mine wasn't pink with rabbits over it, honestly honestly no it wasn't i remember i had one and it was kind of red and it had some sort of cartoony image of a tv program that i was into it might have been a cartoon it might have been something more non-cartoony but presented the cartoony way but anyway everyone wanted these and we all, we all sort of went yeah it's got a secret compartment but it's not very secret when you all you have to do is press the button and it will open i mean why you need assistance with the one on the top look press the button but you can just lift it there without the button look i've got free pink pink pencil with this pink in in color of the actual pencil isn't it's a normal gray pencil unfortunately so i thought yeah well that's the thing and then uh, we've got this one here just to injure someone that is sat next to you potentially but the thing about it, i don't get that because that one is also that section there and it'd been really nice about a under underneath sort of secret compartment section there but it doesn't really i mean you could put a flat piece of paper there with a with a hidden note on it but that's about it and then we've got what's this one here do oh there we go a little bit of the side there and i guess this red one here is going to open up this red this little little rabbit section I was, yeah well i was gonna say this little red section here but yeah the words written in red and the, and the phone yeah it's phoning up somebody i don't know one of these lot over here don't know but so, yeah the bottom section unfortunately that's your manual labor side there's no button to assist you there you're gonna have to open that but there we go look you can write school timetable on there things like that they were just a, a little cool little thing that back in the day that kids really really wanted for some reason i was gonna say we just ever just loved compartments and buttons didn't you really i remember mine had like a circular 
circular um, pencil sharpener on the corner, but you had to take the whole thing over to your bin, which was which was a bit of a pain in the ass. But there we go. So yeah, these things are cool, and it was just really cool to see one of these again. And and we've got uh, rabbits doing various activities on this one. Look, spring, summer, autumn, winter. You can learn from your pencil case as well. Who'd have thought it? Right. Anyway, what have we got next? Ah, yes. Are you planning a trip away? And are you going to plan a clubbing trip away? Then what you need is a money box to put your pound coins in. Uh, if you're just putting pound coins in this, then you're not going to have much of a clubbing night out. But I saw this and I just thought, well, that's a bit weird. You've got a very bloated cat with no arms and two very giant feet. There, there literally is no arms on this thing. And as I say, if you're going, if this is your clubbing fun thing, you best be stuffing that with notes because you're not going to have much of a day or night out, are you now? So yeah, just weird looking cat, no arms to to fill full of yeah notes, notes. Yeah, don't fill it with coins. You ain't going to go far clubbing with that. And as I always say with charity shops, honestly, money boxes. I could go in and leave with one nearly every time. But uh, yeah, that, that was just a bit random, I thought. So we're going we're gonna to airmail another bear out of the way and pop this fat, cat, fat armless cat over here. So you've saved up your money in your fat cat and you've gone away for clubbing. And, well, you've actually stuffed it full of notes. So you've gone with Ibiza. Yeah, believe me, you're going to need to stuff it with £50 notes if you're buying drinks out there. And you thought to yourself, well, I spent a lot of money on clubbing and uh, and drinking and stuff uh, what is the one item that i could leave with uh, a little bit of a memento of my trip to ibiza if you'd have said a german ship in a bottle well there you go that's exactly what you'd <laughs> exactly what you could have come away with yes this is from ibiza apparently because it says so on the base there and we've got a ship with a german flag on it in a bottle it just that just seems a little random to me i mean how has how has how has a trip to Ibiza led to led to you getting a ship in a bottle? And those German, I mean, the German has a ship got a name in it. I can't quite make it out. It does actually. Oh, I can't make that out. I mean, I'm going to have to have a little look off camera. Uh, please look at the cat while I do so. Um, what does it say on there? Oh, it says Gorsh Fock. I kid you not. I can't get that to focus in. Um, ah, maybe you can just make it out there. Gorsh Fock. Maybe that's that ship has something to do with. With Ibiza, did it travel there once upon a time? There might be some historic reason behind it. I don't know. But, yep, yeah, so after you've smashed your fat cat open and got all your money out, you can buy yourself a ship in a bottle. That's from Germany. Uh, not not the actual ship in a bottle. The, the, the ship is... Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't need to explain that. But, oh, holiday stuff. Holiday gifts, I mean. This, this is... Yeah, what is this? This is actually possibly well made. Is it real leather? I don't know. But it looks a little bit manky, to be honest with you. Yes, I did actually give them a pound for this. But I saw this and I just thought, what the hell? What the hell? How does a leather camel end up in a charity shop with with big white eyes? Looks like it was some sort of gift from a trip to Egypt or somewhere. Arabic, if I'm going to be a little bit sort of thinking more along the lines of Aladdin there, really. But yeah, okay. This is the novelty item that you want to take home from your trip to Egypt or whatever country this may have been from. Basically, I just need something to replace another bear because they're slowly getting thrown out away and airmailed away. So, yeah, random camel can go over there for now. We're going to need some more room in a minute when we get to the bag of crap. What have we got left? We've got one more item left, and this <laughs> this this one tickled me a little bit. Um, it's, a, it's a ceramic pig on, on a wooden base. You probably already worked that out all by yourself, but the bit that tickled me is a pig by Leonardo. And I just thought to myself, did Leonardo, did Leonardo da Vinci make gifts for gift shops of model pigs? And uh, or, or was it the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? But the thing that made me giggle the most about this is, uh, do you know, it's, it's, his eyes seem a little bit demonic there. There's lack of pupils or something there like that. But what made me laugh is, that, you know, obviously on a lot of these things, you get sort of like made in Taiwan or made in China, sort of added to the base. But no, we've got on, on this next to the price of 50p, just quite simply foreign. This is foreign. So you've got a foreign pig that was made by Leonardo. I'm guessing from Italy. Or in Italy. But, yeah. Okay, if you collect pigs, that's for you. You can go next to the hoe biscuits over here. And I think it is time for the bag of crap, but we're going to need some room, so I'm going to take my 
pencil case that represents one that, like I had in the child. It didn't have a pink or rabbits on it, honestly. Let's uh, let's email the last bear out of the way because, you know, you need to join its friends. I cannot take Hanky Panky away. I really can't. Yes, searching the internet looking for info on that. That was fun. But anyway, it's bag of crap time. And I think there's some gold in this bag of crap. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. As you'll see, it's... it's, it's uh, I've got a lot of sameness about it, but as you can see, actually, the one thing that I saw is actually perfectly sort of poised there in the centre. As soon as I saw there was a monster in my pocket in the middle of this, I thought, well, I've got to have this. So let's split this bad boy open and get... Oh, I was going to say get the monster in my pocket out, but what have we got here? We've got random... What looks like... Is that grey Viking boat? Because that's what every kid needs in toy format is a grey Viking boat. You can go next to the ship over there and have a little fight. But I saw a monster in my pocket in it and I had to have it straight away. And this is a Series 1 one because I know that because I did buy Series 1 one, series ones as a kid. And I don't know what happened to them. And they've become very collectible and very valuable now. And I think this might have been like a second or third wave because they did them in sort of more... I want to say normal colours, but basically non-neon colours. And then, as you can guess where I'm going with this, they made some neon ones. And this is what this one looks like it is from, the neon ones. I used to have values, I think, on the bottom of them. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Is it on the bottom there, or is it on the back? Oh, no, the, the, the value's on the back. I beg your pardon. There you go. So, yeah, this one's worth five. You draw them out, and obviously five's the lowest. So, yeah, you, you either drew or, uh, yeah, or you, you lost miserably. I can see another bright green one there. That's another monster in my pocket. Here we go. I believe so. I This is definitely not from Series 1. I know that. Because I, I pretty much remember Series. Is it a monster in my pocket? Don't know. I need to look at the base off camera. It says Made in China at the bottom. See? No, it doesn't say foreign. It says Made in, it says made in China on the bottom. Uh, I can't see a number on the back. Is it a monster in my pocket? Did they do away with the numbers after a while? That certainly needs looking into. As I say, some of these are quite valuable. I, 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 I doubt I'm getting the Del Boy sort of... Oh, do you know what? These are all army toys. We've got a little cannon. We can shoot shit up with the with the army men in a minute. We've got the cannons. We'll put the cannon next to the boat over here. Well, what else have we got? This, that looks a bit... Oh, uh, yeah. A bit of plastic with wood. The wood, these plastic. But we've got lots of army men in here. And I want... Ah, uh, we've got what looks like some uh, Kinder Egg toys. I remember the teeny terrapins. These are obviously not terrapins. They're some sort of alligator. This one's playing the violin while wearing a pearl necklace. Get your mind out of the gutter. And, yeah, got a pink scarf on as well. So that's not... Um, well, who's this little fella here? I have no... It's definitely not... <laughs> God, I don't know what this is. Interesting hairstyle. Bald except for the ponytail at the back he's gone for. Then wearing a singlet with, uh, yeah, something from the USSR printed on the front. So that's not... Oh, do you know, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to try and split this open as much as possible and pour all of these army men out and regret this decision afterwards. We've got oh, a spare wheel for the cannon, though. That can go with the cannon over there. Or oh, we've got a cannon without a wheel. Uh, we've got a large rock that can go over there as well and some trees. We, we, we can really make a scene here, quite literally. Have we got any more monsters in my pocket in there? That would be pretty awesome. I think this one... Ah, there we go. That one's a wrestler in my pocket. He's pulling his own hair by the looks of it. They weren't so pop popular, the rest is in my pocket. This dude here, I don't think he's a, from the army. More of a knight thing going on there. Aha! Got another rest of my pocket thing there. We'll call him Lizard Man with uh, with teeth that looks like he's a passive smoker. And he's got a singlet on as well. He can wrestle the man from the United USSR. But here we go. We poured all of these out and we're going to regret this now because we've got to pick these all up one by one later. And I tell you what, I'm going to put a number on the screen now. This number here was how many army men. I, I then picked up one by one afterwards after we've delved through this and found some more other stuff because this looks like a monster in my pocket as well. Again, this doesn't look like Series 1. Oh, it's got a number on it. But, oh, there we go. Look, this one has a 20 on the back. There we go. You can just about see it. So we'd absolutely fuck this one up, basically. Like most of the characters would. Oh, we've got... Is, oh, no, no, because I've got another one of these, but no, I've just bashed that into the pile. Um, we're having a look through. We're having a look through. What have we got? Oh... Another one, another rest in my pocket, I think. He was carrying a look what looks like an Easter egg under his arm. But it looks like we've got all oh, army men, army men. Up. Oh, no, we've got two of them. Look, twins, Basil, twins. Right, what else? There you go, guess the film. Oh, we've got a few wrestlers in my pockets in here. This one looks like, he, I don't know, he's, he's, he's dancing more than anything. Um, we've For some reason, we've got a green Bugs Bunny. Because everybody needs a green Bugs Bunny in their life. 
Um, I think we're... Oh, we've got two boats. We can have a race. It's like Oxford versus Cambridge in Viking plastic boats we can have going on there. There's another plastic rock. I think... Oh, here we go. Are we talking about the tiny terrapins? This could well be one. Look at that. I remember the Kindreggs back in the day started doing these things. Again, they kind of caught on. Again, I was a sort of the right age for that as well. See another... Oh, is that, that's not a restaurant in my pocket. He's playing bloody cricket. These are from something else. These aren't monsters in my pocket. Sure. Oh, no, he's got... Now, the monster in my pocket stuff, I'm pretty sure didn't have indentations in their feet. So, yeah, because, look, that's definitely a restaurant in my pocket. And he's got no holes in his feet. Oh, these ones... Yeah, these are from something else as well, because he's got... All oh, right, okay. I've made mistakes. And it's... One of them is tipping this bag of stuff over the floor, because here's another... Another... I'm going to guess he's from the USSR as well. As, uh, just because the other one was, basically. And it looks like we are down. I think we're down. Oh, no. We've got this here. That's not much. No, it's got... God. These can't be much in my pocket. These have to be something else. Answers on a postcard, please, if you know, or just in the comment section, if you could help. If they're not monsters in my pocket, what the hell are they, if you indeed know? Oh, what's this? This is different. We have a small gnome presenting some food to us, I think. Is that a small turkey? If we found something else Christmassy in here, look at that. Who would have thought it? We are, come on, we're down. I mean, more monster in my pockets would be awesome. Oh, ah, oh, there we go. This one's playing baseball. Where we're playing baseball. Again, it's not a monster in my pocket, I don't think. But what are they? What are they? Homework is going to have to be done. Again, I'm, oh my God, look. Just when I thought we were down to 100% army, and we've got Mini Boglin. He's literally all silver, and he's... He's looking for a feast, clearly, because he's, he's got his napkin on, he's got his knife and fork in his hand. And there's another... Oh, I've just thrown that at me. Stand by. I'll knock the camera. Here he is, another tiny terrapin, and he's got a got a banana skin on his head. These are definitely the tiny terrapins from the, uh, from the Kinder Eggs back from the day. Right. I keep saying we're over, and then I keep finding stuff in amongst the, ba the bag of crap, and that looks like another Kinder Egg toy of an alligator. He's a posh little bastard, isn't he? Got his hands behind his back and everything. Be looking a little bit smug, to be honest with you. So, right, are we done with the? <laughs> we are. We are down to. We are down to 100% army men. I think we've got Mini Boglin. That's pretty cool. Where did that come from? Yeah, I'm filtering, filtering. We've got a couple of. Oh, we found another. Oh, that is a rest in my pocket. We found one more. We found one more. Okay, we are to say we're down to army men. The num number number. <laughs> Every time I say we're down to army men, I find another one. Jesus Christ, it's the bag that keeps giving. But, right, okay. Can we commit ourselves to saying we are down to just army men? Yeah, that number you saw on the screen was how many I tidied up after I found this dog holding its water bowl, which is definitely the last non-army non item, man. <laughs> Unless I, I sift through it again and something else turns up. So a couple of monsters in my pockets in there I'm really happy with because I love them, as I say. I'd love to just pick a few of those up just because, again, childhood. We all have a little bit of nostalgia in our lives as well. But no, we are pro proper army men. Look, there we go. Look, he's... His gun's a bit bent, bless him. Uh, we've got another spare wheel there. But uh, put spare wheel in the boats. I don't know why it should really go in there. No, I'm, I'm, I'm now confident after sifting through a lot of this that we are down to just army men. So there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the mess that I'm now made and regretting already because I've got to tidy this up after I finish recording. But this is now the fourth episode of Charity Shop Tat Gold. If you have enjoyed this, please visit the playlist and visit the three other previous episodes. And one of those episodes includes one of the most unique niche book you'll ever find, certainly the target audience that it was aimed for. But for now, this is another episode of Cherry Shop Tat Gold in the history books. If you have enjoyed it, hitting a thumbs up would be awesome. If you are new to the channel, you've enjoyed this, why not tell a friend? If you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed this, why not consider subscribing? I would love you for it. But now this time now this now this just leads me to clear up this mess. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do Take care.